the defining moment for Soviet partisans was, without a doubt, the Vitsyevsk Gate. This hole in the Eastern Front Line, basically a Soviet-controlled corridor, became the central hub for partisan activities and traffic. Seeing its potential, Soviet strategists started supporting the partisan units on a very different level. The Red Army organized centralized administrative and logistical support, and the gate became a big factor in supporting partisan troops in German-held territory with weapons. This enabled the partisan units to become a big factor, inflicting very heavy damage to the German supply chain. German terror campaigns that followed took a terrible toll. In the end, this drove civilians out of their homes and villages and into the camps of the partisans. In this mission, you'll be given the chance to prove yourself as a partisan. On arrival to the village, I want the prisoners dealt with and the men gathered for speed of the marshes. The command wants us to let out the problematic partisan group. Ne Scheiße! I lost control of the steering! The brakes are also down! Oh, verdammt! Hey, here we are, the party. The party's ends. Why am I starting with no ammunition? That's pretty bad in the middle of a firefight. So let's get looting boys and quickly. To sell some guns and ammo. Got to loot before you can shoot. Can't pick up the guns on the guys under the truck. That's an ammunition. I don't have a gun, there's a gun. A rifle. Oh. To start, I'll take it. Six guys, that's a party. these chaps. This is the enemy. I don't seem to have any good day. Right, this looks like the end of the enemy. Let's keep looting uh, before the mission progresses with us unarmed. Move this truck so I can get to the dead bodies. Nothing in it. Alright, just drive it off. You're not allowed to get into there, it's broken. Mix it, then move it, then loot. Oh, yeah. 
like this. Welcome to Opsich, comrades. I'm in charge here. The fascists are sending a lot of their convoys through these roads nowadays. We try to target the easy ones with supplies. We could use your help. The Germans are doing something to our village. Let's become a fortified supply nexus. They've reinforced the sector and we know nothing of our people. We fear the worst. We'll join you, comrade. But first, we need to get the hell out of here before the Germans know what hit them. Agreed. Follow us. We'll take you to our hideout. That's very kind of you. Uh, all right, change of plan. Let's loot these bodies rather than mess around with that truck. Let's loot what's lootable easily. I don't need two guns. I don't need two shovels, unless I'm a Digging two graves. Got a Luger. Lucky Luger. Well, yeah, I prefer that. I do prefer submachine guns, obviously. They're a lot more fun. People still buy these old German rifles and shoot them, they seem to like them. Hickok 45 on YouTube, they're gun nut. He's always swearing by his, he's got a whole set of them. I see them down the gun shop, they're, you know, it's not that expensive. Although hugely impractical, why would I want that? Other than what I'd do with it. It's not sort of telescopic sight on it or a silencer or a bit ultimately useless. Although, you know, A, I'd like to own as many guns as possible and B, it's got history. Item to a nice toy, but not practical. A mighty tank grenade. Works and, uh, always bulk my health packs. And a shovel, because all my boys need to be carrying shovels. At least they're not carrying tents today. So yeah, some of the stuff that in, is in their loadout, like what are these sort of, are they armbands? That, yeah, well, what the hell is that, an M34? I don't know, don't want it. Somebody else can have the Luger ammo, preferably the guy with the Luger. Where we gotta go, let's go. Oh, what are you doing over there? Now he picked up the Gwer 41, the semi auto. I think it's got different ammunition, that's not the right ammunition for it. I'm looking for little magazines, a little 10 round clips. Oh, never mind. Bound to be some ammo in this party camp. Partisan camp. Hoorah! Uh, oh, yeah, you know the rules. If they say hoorah, I'm drinking tequila. I'm not I'm never drinking vodka, it's disgusting. That said, I do want to make a vodka luge. I want to make, um, you know, a big ice sled and you pour the vodka down the, down the big ice cube, sculpted ice cube, into somebody's drink or mouth, depending on. 
I'm running it as a bar or just doing it for myself. That's my mission. That's my alcohol mission for summer. And Uncle Bass the German a bar. activity in the village is alarmingly high. Luge. There is a reckless German officer stationed there, and the Soviet High Command has requested we terminate him. All entrances are guarded. This fascist swine is important. With your men, we will attempt to infiltrate the village, take out the armor, and most importantly, do not let the fascist officer escape alive. If we can strike a hard blow against the Hitlerite hordes, hopefully they will leave our village alone. What? Capture Impossible. The village. Somebody Don't has given away escape. our hideout. Sit in the road. I should have never trusted you, traitors. Stop this nonsense, comrade. We've not betrayed you. Really shot him. Are you sure he's dead, mate? Maybe we should try to get him over his head. Take defensive positions! We will defend this place until the last man! Okay, let's loose up. Loot up and head on out to the fight. Now he wants us to get into a flanking position for the armour car that's about to show up. Big nice big machine gun. I'm going to try and shoot them out of this armoured car, just the gunners, and then hopefully the driver will change gunners to the gunners position. And then uh, we'll shoot him too and capture him. The armored car. Worst case is we damage it with the machine. I think my boys would just start shooting not the bouncer, not the not a lot of luck putting the gunners out there. Maybe we should reposition a bit. Manual control, taking too long, and uh, somehow he switched him to the submachine gun when I wanted the rifle. Uh, click it, press the button to... Yeah, that's really much easier as that, eh? So I don't want them to get too close, because if I do, they'll um, they'll start lobbing grenades off, in the, off their own initiative. So we're going to pop on over there. I'm 
I'll keep the guys, as I said, I'll keep the guys well away from that uh, armoured car. Because I don't want to hang grenade and blow it up and risk me not being able to loot it or capture it perfectly. Um, the other thing is, I think as soon as I kill that, it triggers the next phase. And what I'd like to do is to rush around and mop up here and capture the mortar team before they either get set up or before they get too dangerous. The guys in the village seem to be keeping them busy. I'm going to go hunting. There's at least three German squads coming, I think. Uh, one from down to the east, one from over to the north, and that one we can see up at the west, looking at the minimap. Here they are. Uh, caught them on the march. Shots off. I mean, any one of those mortars can kill the six of us in one hit. Got the troops coming behind them too. Come on, do it. Do it. Okay. Liking it. It's a bit of a coup. And this squad that's coming behind, that's definitely worth a save. And this squad that's coming behind, they must, they look, you know, like hard cover. Machine gun and stuff. Machine gun can deal with that pretty easily. Seems to have some kind of morale score, don't they? I mean, they retreat when they're doing badly, and some of them just outright run when they're doing really badly. And they are doing badly. I think where the W is on the map is where the secret objective truck is. And it's got a sort of light anti-tank cannon with it, which is hopefully what I'll use to blow up the retreating German officer. So let me take the town, which is currently off map. The map will expand like once we blow up that, uh, once we finish this phase, once we blow up the the armoured car that I've left down there, red on the minimap. Once that's dealt with, I think that triggers the next phase and uh, the map expands and we get to see the whole village, Bispa or whatever. And then we have a, a kind of a sneaky phase where we get ourselves in position to ambush the retreating German officer before the partisans trigger the, the assault, but we have a problem with this trigger the assault. Oh, okay. Great work, I didn't have to blow up the now, car. Our position is compromised. 
we must proceed with our plans of liberating Opsich and terminating the fascist commanding officer. I need your squad expanded. to move there it is. Some of my men are acting as spotters in the village. So all those green guys will turn hostile. The officer may want to use. We will attack when you give us the signal. We'll attack when we give the signal. If the officer is compromised, he will try to escape. You must have all exits covered by the time you give us the attack signal. I'll give you three of my best men to help you in this dangerous task. All exits covered. Oh god, that means like belly crawling around to those one, two, three, four, five, six roads. I've got six men. Three more now. Oh look, there's still more people coming down to attack the base. Like, remember I said there's gonna be three three units of Germans. That's unit number three is just charging in. Completed this a bit early. So that's the secret objective. There's the there's the truck with the cannon. I want that. I also want to get to take the mortars with me. Now, hopefully, I've set them everyone to uh, only fire back, not to. Since this is a sneaky base, hopefully, none of them are going to start shooting randomly into town. Although they probably will, won't they? There's my three partisans he's given me. I'll send them off to that ammo box in town and the, the base to get that last submachine gun and the silent pistol. So that's that flanking position behind the logs that overlooks the, the car. Let's see if I can help out. Now I thought about belly crawling all the way along here, but you can see those um, fences. That means I would, I'd belly crawl all the way up to that fence and then I'd have to walk all the way into town to go around and it's not going to work. So to get them around the back. They're going to have to go where my other guys are now, up there, by the, by the north map. Taking by the, the uh, sorry, by the west marker on the mini-map. Okay, found it. I'll take it. And I'll use it. driver's still in that half track, he hasn't moved up to the gunner's position yet, nothing's provoked him. Pity. I always chuck grenades in there, but it's a bit hit and miss. Last resort, because it kind of has a tendency to blow them up. I don't want it blowing up before I've at least got the machine guns out. You see, I've got my little uh, box on the right to move really that on the, the buttons. Attack signal. You click that. That's when uh, the partisans will attack the village. See the last one? He lost his hat too. He just when he needed it. So we can uh, loot some of this stuff, can't we? I can find some submachine gun or a heavy machine gun or I don't know what. Some grenades maybe. Health packs, always like a good health. Oh! What? So after all that, they've, well, they've molotoved it. So now it's going to be. Think it'll survive a monotop? I mean, it seems okay. Might be something left of that.
It seems intact, so I should be able to loot it. Oh, hang on, hang on. Better than losing. Okay, so we've got it. <laughs> so look at that. It's got a front gunner, a rear gunner, and it works. So what I'd like to do, if it's humanly possible, is to drive that over to the other group there and uh, team up with them. Maybe get it to tow that cannon to wherever the hell we want to set up to capture the. To the colonel or whoever he is. Well, the mortars. That's quite a good heavy weapon. Oh no, 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 no! Look at that path. It's right through the town. Don't know. I don't want to lose it in the swamp. I don't want to sink it. Uh, I may have to abandon it. I may just not be able to get it in there. So I'll put a manual control where I can. But that path thing was taking me through town, which is. Not stealthy, driving a tank through town and give it away. So maybe there's a path through the swamp that uh, half tracks pretty ruggedly cross country, isn't it? That's the idea. Well, it's got the tracks. So I think this is set in modern day Lithuania. I think I saw Vilnius on the map. Was that Latvia? Modern day Latvia. So that's okay, it's gonna work. It's a goer. Hey, hey, hey. Get your cigars out. I like it when a plan comes together. From that cute little cannon. I don't have any infantry, they're all manned units, like two mortars, a cannon and a, and a car. I didn't search that truck for any more stuff either, I might. So I thought what we'd do is advance into town. I think they're all, see, as you see, I've set them all to don't fire unless you've fired upon. Really? Really? This, this stealthy thing, so they don't fire until fired upon. Look at them. I mean, maybe that won't set the town off since it, the guy they killed wasn't in the town. Just start advancing, get more and more coverage. Those mortars haven't got a fantastic range. Still firing, what's going on? I think, I think the whole stealthy, we sneak around and ambush the. I think this is another fail. Not getting the ambush positions first is a fail, and it's not going to happen. I hope we get lucky if he comes our way. I'm liking the half track, but the front one. Go for the motherland! Death to the fascist beast! Officer is trying to get away. You cannot let this happen at any rate. No. No. Good luck. <laughs> I'll blame this one.
Yeah, it's pretty effective. Bits of the chat, I'm getting to grenade range. Hey, look, 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 that's, that's them. That's them. Oh, they got away. They got away. Right, hot pursuit. Let's get him. Get him. Your foot down. Hide him. I don't think the real one with the don't think the real one with the bat on the on the roof. Get him, have him. Have machine real machine gun take that guy behind us. Okay! Right, we're in business. That's the hard part done. Yeah, I'll save that. I like it. So now I think what I want to do is clear the town. It's just... There's a tank there, that's bad news. Got that little cannon. I think they could probably take it. Took the last one, didn't it? Someone use this to get this hanger made while I'm busy patting myself on the back with a fantastic man. Something I do daily. Unless things go savagely wrong, then I have to go and see my mum and get her to tell me how fantastic I am. Move these fellas up. Right, that looks pretty clear then, in this corner of town anyway. Let's get up and start. Saving the world. At least saving the other partisans. Maybe they'll trust us after this. We can get cool partisan names. Oorah and vodka. Is it vodka or vodka? Vodka in German, I suppose. You know, Russians do hard bees, don't they? Vladivostok. No. Vladivostok. ammunition I suppose they can keep doing this forever. Oh, up at the top of the mini map a green dot just got eaten by a red tank.
ammunition truck. Let's set the mortars up in there. That should help things out. Have I lost a man in that? Oh my god, I've lost the tail gun. I don't know how that happened or when or where. He's definitely gone. Stack. See if this reloads. Didn't seem to. the partisans are dead. No, most of them are dead. We're getting snuck up on from behind. That's not good. Target some mortars. Causing us trouble. Big arm cannon too, but the one I've got. Size matters. Any mortar range? Don't know. Something to shoot. Set it to attack ground, so oh, seems to be working. Many bombs, lads. Boy. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what that's what the doctor wanted. tail gun for me. You should be able to protect them. Why are they gonna oh. why don't you just go through the fence? set up there. Ah, so that's the red dot on the mini-map. Shooting at us. Navigating easier. Oh, 
least unmanned the truck. Something's killed, look, something's killed my tank gun. Um, I to tank thing has been wiped out. Damn. That wasn't part of the plan. I'm saving that because there's a tank up in the corner. Okay, not much left now. What's up here? What's this red dot? At least not much that we can see. It doesn't mean there's not stuff out there that isn't line of sight. That looks something I can cope with. Let's raid it. Do some raiding with the, the armour. Just get out of the way. There's a tank there, basically. Uh, it hasn't managed to shoot us. Let's get behind that house so it can't see us to shoot us. That's too close to the infantry by half. They'll be able to hang grenade us, but, you know, what do you fear most? Either a hang grenade or a tank. Breach. Tank up there, or the same tank up there. Or something, I saw something up there. Water cruise. Line of sight with a little bit supposed to be shooting. Um, I, I, look at 
this weird chest point. So I took this one instead, it's a bit knackered this one, isn't it? See the yellowed armour. The bottom left and the health bars. Мы готовы.
might as well grab it, I suppose. Just making some room for uh, a repair kit. Slow Once he can pick one up, he can then use one. Slow show, Got my eye on this for a while. Bit. This armoured car, now is the time. Especially as we're so short of men. Got like, what, four men left? Half? Maybe that's six men. I'm just not sure. Either way, it's going to be a good replacement. It's two man. It's got a rotating gun. That bayonet. I wonder if you can stab people with it. See if we can get both of them to repair. Even the lazy one. Ah, no, это мой мигом. Мы уже идем. Да, командир. Мы готовы ко всему. I don't know what bird call that is. Yeah. Having to manually navigate them between that fence and picnic a table. Picnic. Well, it sounds like an owl to me, but it's daytime. I think I'm too close to um he's in that shack that's just opposite behind the shack there's a little building just on the side of the road he's in there he's in, he's in the doorway there but the mortars don't seem to be engaging maybe there maybe he's inside the minimum range That's the tank. 
in that block. I don't want to fight you with this. This is not to it. That's the solution. Doesn't look like this will tow it. That's a shame. So the half track would have done, but there it is. Now I've got four men on there. It says it needs three, but it'll take four. So if the fourth guy. He's wearing stripes. It looks like number four on there just shouts at the other three. This is an important job. So I think the tank's up there where that guy's running. I might be able to get line of sight in it from this field. I obviously want to attack it. I think this is a bigger cannon than that tank's going to have and I'd like to attack it from outside of its range. Preferably from outside of its vision. And It's around here somewhere. There it is. It's got line of sight. Disappears. Goes invisible when no one's looking. Shrouding his cat or just a tree in the forest. Make any noise in it for you. That kind of stuff. So hopefully we'll get line of sight and pop him and that'll be game over. Big victory for the parties. And then the owl can go to sleep. Is that a slight rise? Is that a slight hill? Can you see him now? Hmm. That's me trying to manipulate. No, I, don't, I don't think he can shoot from that angle. They're going to have to get onto the road itself. That's really close. Take number four off. There you go, Sergeant. No more. So he's got line of sight on it. That's it. I have to keep making him look back. He looks away. Look. I get him line of sight and it's not shooting. It's totally safe to look at it. And then he ducks. But either way, they didn't try and shoot it, so I don't think they've got line of sight. Oh, boy. They've literally got to get up that hill onto the road. And risk their lives. It's a big gun, right? You should be able to take the side on to that tank. Have a good shot at it. Oh, come on. I can definitely see it. Now, come on, that's got to be it, really. I mean, yeah. Hurry up, hurry up. This isn't good. Okay, that's good. Edring comrades, henceforth our village may remain free from the yoke of fascism. Yes, who wants yoke? So runny. Home sweet home. They left behind all the documents. How very interesting. Convoys, lots of them. It seems we're in one of the few available crossroads 
where they don't get completely stuck in the mud. Every truck we stop, every minute we delay them, it buys precious time for our comrades in the front line to stop the fascist advance. Oh, brilliant. Ah, oh, brilliant. A German offensive and I only got like four men or something. And a ten supply trucks crossroads. Could get that. Take going. down the trucks. They are our target. Let the armored vehicles through. We are no match for the fascist armor. They seem to be coming from where we got the cannon, from the secret objective. I don't mind ignore the armour, that's knacker it from the cannon, especially that tiny thing. I think he said it's not going to shoot back anyway, so... Soon. I'll keep you posted. I reckon you have a couple of minutes until its arrival. Find some mines or explosives around the village and prepare for them. Hopefully you won't need mines or you've got a cannon, got an armored car. Made short work of the last lot. I can't actually see any mines. Where's the ammunition crate? In the trucks, maybe? That's uh take these fences down so our cannon's got a clear line of fire when they come again and shoot them miles away.
There's something there in this building I've just driven by. It's got a red dot on the map. He's shouting. And he seems to. No. Uh, Van's died. So if you can find some uh, mines in these trucks. Machine gun off this uh, armored car. No, nothing in the trucks. That's not where the ammo is. Landmines, rather. Here's that box there that lists the house with the guy in it. He's shooting at me. Maybe it's that guy on the road shooting at me. There's no one in there at all. Uh, no, no mines, no ammo crates. There. We have blew up all the crates and the landmines in. In which case, there's still just still a big splosh of them all around the place, lying around on the floor. Site with the approaching infantry. <coughs> Let's see if this thing can sort them out without getting hang grenade. And squash him. Enemy convoys approaching from the northwest. Ah. Northwest. Okay, oh look, you've got the sort of arrows marked on the map, but it's too big. Hopefully they'll come to the same spot and then we'll give them the same treatment and we'll lie around the corner and ambush. Lord, the fence has gone, look, he'll be picking them off from miles away. He'll be taking them all out on his own. Brave boy that he is. Fascists are missing the schedule. They're in the haste. Ambush the supply vehicles and let the others go. I don't think they'll be after you.
Oh, what? They're not coming the same way at all. Oh, I completely don't even do. Could have bought this one. Let's see how we get on. Let's go, go. Go on my car. Just got to shoot the fans. Trucks roller. Time for the second car chase of the day. It's been quite good for that earlier car I chase. I can see the next German convoy has almost on. arrived on our doorstep. I will keep you posted. What's faster, lorry or armored car? Definitely gaining on him. Come on! Come on! Start shooting. Come on! Finish him. We overtake him, we can do a drive-by, shoot the driver out. <laughs> I won't say I'm not enjoying chasing these trucks down, because I totally am. It's the second car chase of the day. See any boxes of mines? Big machine gun off the armor car wouldn't hurt, would it? That'd be better than his silly rifle. I always go with the belt fed ones though, because the belt ammo. Uh, Tron ones are useless. That's got to be enough. What else do I need? Give me a shovel. I wonder if they didn't come this way because those three trucks have blocked the road and it repathed them, or if they were just deliberately being sneaky. Shake it up for me. Oh, I'm glad they did. The car chase was good.
The fascist column is arriving from the southwest. Southwest. Uh, okay, up on the left. Let's get this gun facing the right direction. Looking down that whole street. So look, this road's blocked, so he's having trouble. I have to manually control to get through. I'm missing the schedule. We're in haste. Okay. Ambush the supply vehicles and let the others go. I don't think they'll be up to you. One, two, three, four. This is it. This finale. Folks, we have come to the end of this long show. Uh, if you're still here and still watching, please be kind enough to like and subscribe so that I know that people are watching and do are interested in seeing more. And then I can prioritise making more things. Hey! Alright. That was episode 4. Of the Soviet campaign. See you for the next one, I hope. <laughs>